Our next stop is Rhode Island, where a woman learned from her mother that when you have, you give. Sixia Divine created a program that makes a difference in the lives of others. She and her volunteers travel to the Dominican Republic and bring toys and smiles to children in some of the poorest and remote regions. We grew up in, um, in the inner city of Providence. My parents, they ran a bodega in Onlyville, and that's where I used to spend all of my, all of my time as a little girl. Where I grew up, it was, it was very, very challenging. It was extremely violent. There was a lot of gangs. My math teacher, he used to buy crack from one of my classmates. Our vice principal, he got beat up by one of our classmates as well. Within our graduating class, there were supposed to be um, about 400, and only 200 of us graduated. From that 200, a small percentage ended up going to the university. And wow. it was only because there was an after-school program. So I went to the University of Rhode Island, and I remember the first year, there was an assignment to write a paper. And I was saying to myself, I don't even know how to write an essay. And I was angry, I was upset, I was embarrassed, um, and I, I felt like a complete failure. And I remember going to uh, one of my advisors, and he said, you need to shut up and get to work. And he said, you see that building right there? That's called a library. You need to go there, and you need to learn how to write an essay. And I looked at him like, are you kidding me? Like, I came here for inspiration. And then he said, you have two choices. You can either stay and you can work, or you can go back to the ghetto where you came from. He said, it's your choice. It is your choice. But right now, you have the opportunity. And that's exactly what I needed. Why? Because I was in a situation where I was blessed, number one, to be there because of this amazing program. And number two, I had people who believed in me. But the thing that I didn't have was belief in myself. So what that taught me was many, many things. It was, number one, I have the choice to either succeed or to fail. I have the choice to either learn how to write a paper or not. I had the choice to stay in North Kingston at the University of Rhode Island or go back to Onlyville. It was my choice. So what I did was I ended up going to the library and no word of a lie, I remember I figured out on my own because there was a way. I, I knew what the problem was and I knew what the solution was. So I went and I found the solution and I figured out how to, how to write a paper. Sometimes when those things are given to you, they're not acknowledged and you don't put them into action the way you should. Seven years ago, um, I started Carita Smiles and it was almost a combination of, of what I was teaching people. Now I was kind of doing something a little bit different but it was more about human kindness. It's about connecting people with real experiences. The volunteers have gained as much as they have given. It is a beautiful example of how one individual can create a program as fulfilling as it is giving. So Anya, you've been in Dominican Republic, so you've had the chance to go there and also give out the toys yes. and experience it. What is the biggest blessing? When I'm there and I know that I make an impact directly with my own hands, I find myself useful. I find myself like I'm here for, for a reason. Here in, in the United States, I can afford stuff that I would, my parents can't, but that, that, that doesn't make me happy. Sandra. I grew up uh, with poverty around. In Colombia, where there's a lot of needs too. Now at this age, um, having the chance to do something for that same thing that I saw for so many years, for almost my whole life. I, I've been among poverty, but this is so different. This is Why so is different. it so different? Because I'm doing something about it. We discovered some of the poorest areas that you could ever imagine. And then as we were passing out the toys, we would take pictures of these children who were, they were just so happy. And it was just letting people know that, hey, you can make a difference if you just do one thing. And the one thing that we did was simply give. 